Hey, hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Linux 17.1. Um, it's the Cinnamon Rebecca, and I'm going to show you how to put it onto a bootable USB. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not usually familiar with Linux, and I wanted to try it out just to see what the operating system was like, but I didn't want to install it on my hard drive or alongside my Windows 7 so I decided to put it onto a USB just to see how it ran so I'm going to show you how I did it um, you're going to need a USB uh, 4 gigabyte and the first thing you're going to need to do is go to linuxmint.com and then click on the download and then you can scroll down here and I'm looking for the the cinnamon so I've got for the desktop I want to go for the 64 bit so I'm gonna click on that and then in here it asks you you can pick obviously wherever code three you are so if I go all the way down here I should be able to come up with it. Ireland's in there someplace yeah and I can download it from there now I've already downloaded it so I'm not going to do it again Um, it has torn files as well for those of you who would like that Um, if you don't know much about torrents just leave it and just download the ISO and um, once you have it downloaded we're going to go to uh, we're going to need another piece it's a little application and it's called Rufus And you can go down here to Rufus and click on the download. I'll leave a link in the description for both of these anyway. But uh, once you've downloaded it, there are the two things you want. I'm going to close that down. And uh, I have my file here. I put it into this. So what you want to do is launch Rufus. Unit boot in as well will do this. I'm just going to say run looking for my USB so I'm going to plug in my USB drive and it's coming up here now I have Linux Mint on it already uh, auto run, turn that off, that's ok I have Linux Mint on this already I uh, like I said I was trying it out to see what it was like I also installed it on a 500 gigabyte external hard drive to test it out to see how good it was with all the other applications and stuff like that but that's a different video so what you want to do is I'm going to say it's FAT32 I'm going to go down here to ISO image and then I'm going to search for my image so wherever you have it kept your downloads or whatever so I'm going to go to my folder and this is it here Linux Mint 17.1 it's the 64 bit I'll say open and once you have your file on it I'm gonna say start and it's saying warning all on your device blah 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 will be lost and you just click OK and then once it goes through its system once it's finished its job uh, just close it could take uh, five minutes, ten minutes. Uh, just close it down. I'm just going to restart my machine now. I'm going to show you from the BIOS. And, um, I'll be using my little handheld, so I'll be a bit shaky. So I apologise. I probably need to get a stand for it or set up a virtual machine. But we'll use what we have. Once your computer shuts down, it should start up again. So it's okay after the restart. When it does, as you see down the bottom here, it says press the escape key to start the menu. So I'm going to do that. Now it might be slightly different on your computer. It could be delete key, it could be F2, F8, F10, F12. And I have this option on mine. So 
as a one-off for the video I'm just going to go to F9 if you want you can go into F10 and you can change your boot so that it boots directly from the USB first so then I'm just going to go to F9 and get to it and then it's giving me this this is to boot up from my hard drive my internal or my USB so I'm going to go down to that and then I'm going to say enter and as you can see it's booting straight into Linux Mint um, there you go guys there's Linux Mint I liked it, I loved the look of it, um, very clean, there were some aspects of it I, I found very confusing coming from a Windows background. That's it for now guys, uh, hope you liked the video, if you do hit the like button, and subscribe if you want and I'll see you in the next video.